Hi folks. Um, in our discussion last week, somebody asked a question I thought was really good, which was, how do we know if something is art? And that's kind of a hard question to answer because really art is different things to different people and what I may think is art and really like you may think is terrible and vice versa. But I think there are a few things we can kind of look at to at least start the conversation about whether something is art or not. I think the first thing you have to look at is what is the purpose of it. And we've sort of touched on this a little bit already, I think, but maybe not explicitly. The idea that the purpose of art has changed throughout history. For most of human history, from you know the very first play we know about in ancient Egypt, all the way up till 1800s kind of era, the main purpose of art was religious. It was to tell stories about how good people live, to show people what the proper way to behave is in that particular area's religion or philosophy or whatever. And it really wasn't, it just was like, here's stories about good little people doing things, blah, blah, blah. If there's bad people, they get punished at the end because the gods make sure they're punished. And I could talk about that forever, but I won't bore you with all that. But just be aware that the main purpose, if you're talking about Greek theater, you're talking about everything in the medieval era, it's all about religion. And then in the 1800s, as psychology starts to develop and Freud's putting his ideas out there and all that kind of thing, as that comes around, we stop saying, look, here's how you got to behave to be a good person. And we start to think about as a people, we start to think about why people do the things they do in medieval art, you know, like for medieval theater, for example. If someone's evil, it's just because they're evil. There's no explanation of why they are. They're just evil. That's the way they were made. That's how they were born, whatever. And now we know that there are very few people born like evil psychopaths, and who we are and what we've been through affects the choices we make and all of that kind of thing. And so art really started to examine those things, those issues of psychology and um, all of that. And so what the change is that suddenly art becomes, rather than saying, here's the best way to be and let's show a little, you know, picture of life as it would be if everything was perfect and here's what we all should strive for, it becomes more, I'm going to show you something that's terrible I'm going to show you what the world is really like, and if you think that's terrible too, maybe we should do something about it. So we, just, we describe that as saying that art is holding a mirror up to nature and saying, look, look at yourselves. Are you happy with this? Um, an example I would give would be the movie John Q, which if you've ever seen that, you know is about the healthcare system, and it makes me mad every time I see it. And the idea is we're going to show you how the healthcare system is messed up, how horrible it can be, what it does to people, and then you decide if you think something needs to be done about it. So I think that is the main way we sort of recognize modern art, is that it has an intent, it has a message, it has something it's trying to get across. Now that doesn't mean it's not entertaining, it doesn't mean that that you know a movie just purely for laughs is not um, worth watching, entertainment has its own value, but if we're talking about something as really art, meaning it's this thing that we've invested with human emotion, with intention and feeling, it was created with skill and craft and thoughtfulness, and it really is, whether it's a painting, a song, a movie, a book, whatever it is, it's a mode of communication for the artist to communicate to whoever their audience is, for the audience to communicate with each other. And so if you want to talk about something being art, I think it has to start with the intention of being art. You can take all the pictures of your children in the world you want to. Lord knows I have a ton of them. Look above my head. Eh, other way. There's pictures of my son when he was little. They're beautiful. They're not art, right? Art is something created from human inspiration and purpose, okay? So a lot of times people will say, and I think even this was sort of what she was asking in the in the discussion board is, you know, our kids make all this stuff at school, Lord knows, they make a ton of it and bring it home. But it's not necessarily art. It's their artwork, it's them working on their craft, but it's not what we would call capital A or quotation mark art. 
per se. People look at Jackson Pollock paintings that are sort of splattered around everywhere and they say, oh, I could do that. No, you really, you really couldn't do that. Maybe you could, but most of us can't. There's a lot more behind that than just taking a paintbrush and going like that on the canvas. Um, so I think that's what I would say if you're looking at something to determine whether it's art. Is there an intent? Is there a message? Is there skill and craft there? Um, you know, and it's kind of that thing like I know it when I see it, you know? There are tons of movies out there. Some are art, some aren't. You know, rap music, some of them are artists and some of them are just singing about big butts and champagne and whatever. You know, same thing with country music. Put a truck and a field in the middle of the night and some beer and you've got a song. That doesn't make it art. Um, so that, I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but that's my explanation is you want to see that there's something that artist is really trying to communicate. Um, and that they had some skill and some technique in the way that they did it. Okay, so hopefully that helps.